Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, we're talking about the emitter in this project um, that I have here. So as it stands right now, um, I've got this piece of machinery that I've been modeling and showing how it uh, essentially comes through this system and shoots out into uh, a rail car, which um, is gonna pull up and stop. And as it stops, these objects will come emitting out of this little chute and begin to collect into the base of my rail car. So, how do we do this? Um, the first thing uh, we need to do is obviously have a rail car pull up and that's just a simple animation. I'm using the, uh, this train here, I'm just using coordinates on the Z to move down my my rail car and then when it stops at the 95th frame I have a five second delay or five frame delay and then my emitter begins which I'm setting inside the particle emitter to start the emission at 100 frames so to do that um, let's just create a new project here uh, I'm just using spheres and I am also cloning them. So I'm going to go MoGraph cloner and I'm just making sure that my instance is just set to, uh, that my count is just one. Um, so Nothing crazy here yet, but then um, we're going to go and grab a simulation particle emitter and place the cloner as a child of that. And now we are starting to emit stuff, but we're not yet emitting our sphere. So the first thing we need to do is go in here and click show objects. And now this will allow my emitter to begin emitting those particles but they don't have any gravity whatsoever. Um, so whatever object you want, um, in the case of my box car, let's just kind of create a quick example of what that might look like. Um, I basically have this open top. It's basically a container. Um, this is a crude example of it. And so I want the particles to emit and drop into this box. What I need to do is I need to create a simulation tag um, and make sure that it's a rigid body, both on the cube and on the cloner. Now if I click play, oops, I also need to make sure that now that I've got this, uh, okay, I have screwed up. I need to make sure that my cube is a collider body. And if I click play now, you'll notice that they are, they do have gravity and they're going where they should, but they're skipping off the top of this. And that again is also a simple fix. Um, on my cube collider body under collision, we have to go into shape and we're gonna use a static mesh. And now we're gonna see our objects drop into our box and begin to collect. So to truly simulate what we did before, we can go to our particle emitter and choose a start emission of 10 frames. Um, we can make it tangential, which means that it should just all come out at the same speed throughout. Um, we can up the birth rate so that we've got a lot more of these particles coming. Oops, a couple of them spun out. And obviously at any point we can go into our sphere and, and um, you know resize that if we want. We can change the size of these particles, make them smaller, make them bigger. And obviously we can give them uh, materials too. So, you know, give them some kind of bright material and maybe we go into our reflectance 
I like using the legacy and adding something like a um, Fresnel texture to the mask. Throw that on our sphere. And now we've got these shiny little marbles coming out. So that's how you use the emitter. Uh, very basic um, tutorial on how to use that. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But um, you can see how useful this is uh, if we jump back into our scene of creating you know, real life instances where uh, this might occur. And so in this case, this could be um, coal or potash or you know whatever your animation needs to be to apply for your for your client um, but that's a really quick way to uh, to create that um, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and uh, please give me a subscribe um, or feel free to ask any questions if you have them thanks for watching